Hi, this is Mark from Rightline Trading. It's uh, December 10th, uh, 2013. I wanted to go over our trading today. Um, uh, tough day to trade because uh, um, it's snowing in New York City and I think it's kept a lot of the institutional people um, uh, at home and uh, the markets, at least um, we watched the Russell. The Russell was uh, range bound today and difficult to trade. Um, but we had an awesome day in crude oil today. Even though it was somewhat range bound, we were able to dissect out four winners and close the room early, in fact. Um, I wanted to point out just, this is an entry that occurred at 8.13.35 in the morning. You can see it's a candle that is surrounded by yellow. It shows that order flow, stochastic, and momentum are all to the downside. You can see the modified 15 is pushing down hard. Um, this was an awesome entry signal. This is before the room opened. Um, and that would have been a 36 uh, tick win. Then, again, before the room opened, power entry short meets our criteria. SMA 50 is sloping to the downside. Entry is one tick below the close of the entry candle right here. And this would have been a An 11 tick win. So we would have 36 and 11 just too early in the morning for us to catch. It would have stopped us out. Um, would have come back up here. It stopped us out on a 10 tick trailer. So we wouldn't have gotten the whole move. Finally, the room did open. And our first trade came right here was a C candle entry. It had an enormous number of things going for it. Now usually we'd like the modified 15 to be above the 50 and the 50 to be slope and the 50 to be sloping up in red, uh, sloping up in green. I'm sorry. That did occur here. Um, but we did not have the 15 above the 50. I took the trade anyway um, because there was so many things going for this trade. One, it had order flow asymmetry. It showed that all the buy, all the, <clears throat> excuse me, all the sellers in this uh, failed counter trended move, the majority of them were short at the bottom of this B candle, and they were overrun by the engulfing candle. Not only was this a C candle, you can see it's surrounded in blue. We saw this forming in Trabar, um, which means it had order flow stochastic and momentum with it. And not only that, it also had a triple momentum signal which means that momentum was aligned on three time frames. So this had tr a tremendous amount of, um, <clears throat> of a, a, a tremendous number of signals telling us this is going to at least give us a first target win. And it gave us 10 ticks. And the market retraced. Back down. And this is a rare entry that I took without a signal. It was simply based on a pullback right to the 50, 50 acting as tremendous support, and the 15 crossing the 50 right at the bottom of the candle. Um, on a structural setup, uh, at the close of this candle, right here, We were in eight ticks. Now, this was a three line. Um, Ninja Trader recalibrates and changes the way the data is um, projected on fractal indicators um, in retrospect, a, a, as opposed to when it when it is um, 
um, projected in real time. So real time, this candle was rimmed in yellow, um, which showed that we had order flow, stochastic, and momentum. And that now it's accurate in real time. Um, when you close, unfortunately, uh, just the way the Ninja platform is coded, it will change the way uh, it um, it will um, analyze data that have um, uh, fractal analysis as a component. So you don't see it anymore. But this was a three-line break to the downside. We had the 50 heading down, which met our criteria for a short trade. And it just gave, just gave us a six-target win. Set up the same thing happened here on this candle, right here on this entry candle. Um, the entry was one tick below. here and that gave us 14 ticks I'm sorry, actually 13 I'm sorry so we had 10 8 6 and 13 and what was um, you know proving to be a very choppy market uh, and I think we we, we um, were very prudent to take a four and out we had four winners no losers uh, 37 ticks. Um, if we would have traded earlier in the morning, um, we would have had a tremendous C candle entry. I'm sorry, three line break for 36 ticks. Power entry for 11 ticks. And although it's crazy to continue to trade, and I still believe that the best thing to do uh, money management wise was, was uh, to close the room. Here was a tremendous power entry right here. Nice regression signal. That went 10. Then a gorgeous C candle entry below the pivot. It, the pivot was broken. You're in one tick below. for 31 ticks the, and there were no bad signals in this in for the entire trading day on crude so the potential uh, was there for much more um, and, that, and that really was early in the morning except that if we got these two trades early in the morning for 36 and 11 probably after I got the 10 we would have taken a 3 and out and that would have been 36 for that would have been 56 ticks I mean once you get three or four wins in a row uh, I think on a day where uh, most people in in New York City and the and Wall Street are home I think it's probably it's you know it's a prudent time to call to call it an afternoon um, but we did quite well uh, we had 10 8 6 and 13 everybody in the room had a great day very profitable you can't lose money if you don't take a loser and really um, day trading is not about the number of winners it is always about the number of losers you take when you have a perfect day like this um, this is where you can close up the trader and take and take a uh, uh, an early afternoon um, so I hope everybody has a um, had a great uh, day today uh, and I look forward to talking to you soon